Good evening and welcome to this ABC 36 News Update. I'm Megan Skaggs. Kentucky health officials are reporting the state's first H1N1 related death. A Lexington woman in her 50s died Sunday and lab tests confirmed she had contracted the H1N1 virus. Now health officials say the woman had significant existing medical conditions and warned swine flu can be especially dangerous for those with chronic illness. We want to remind people that if you have heart disease, lung disease, kidney disease, sugar diabetes, asthma, any of those sorts of conditions, you need to get the seasonal flu vaccine now because most healthcare providers have it and then be some of the first in line. You'll be a priority group to get the H1N1 vaccine when we get it in October. Now, news of the death comes the same day as the governor's pandemic influenza summit. ABC 36 News anchor and health reporter Christy Runyon was there. All of us should assume that we may be exposed to flu at any time. The governor's pandemic influenza summit has one overall purpose. But just to continue to make sure that we are as prepared as humanly possible to handle whatever may, may arise. With so many questions and so much public health concern over the H1N1 virus, representatives from healthcare, education, government and business all came to learn how best to deal with the potential outbreak of swine flu illness. After the sessions, Clark County's judge executive left with a, a world of things, but the, but the most important thing is communication. Communication with the different folks in, in our community, especially our, our health professionals. One message the state's public health commissioner wants to communicate the seriousness of all flu illness both seasonal flu and h1n1 influenza a regardless of whether it's h1n1 or h3n2 the seasonal flu is a virus that has the ability to cause serious illness and death in some individuals and we respect that with the summit coming the same day the state reported its first h1n1 related death public health officials urge the public not to panic but to take precautions to prevent the spread of germs Get your seasonal flu shot, that helps with that, and as soon as the H1N1 vaccine is available, that will help as well. H1N1 is a new strain of a flu virus that none of us have ever had, therefore all of us are potentially susceptible. That was Christy Runyon reporting. Now, even with news of today's death, health officials say so far they still do not expect H1N1 influenza to be worse than seasonal flu, which claims the lives of about 400 to 500 Kentuckians each year. We want to let you know we have much more on this story on our website, WTVQ.com. That's going to do it for this ABC 36 News Update.